of God. The sovereignty of God. You know, one of the beliefs of people is that God is a sovereign ruler who does all things. And that is true. But it has to be explained. It has to be explained. They keep believing that every event in humanity is orchestrated by God. And it gives you this belief that whether you pray or not, God will do what he wants to do. So everything that happens is God. You lose your job is the will of God. Your wife dies is the will of God. Your child dies, that's how God wants it. They sack you from your work. God is teaching you a lesson. Then we keep having questions and those questions we keep asking, asking, what is God trying to tell me? What is God trying to show me? You are sick and you are saying, Father, this ulcer, what are you trying to teach me? And because you don't really know the character of God and you don't know the limits of God, you don't know the limits. You believe he's sovereign. So in that sovereignty, he does what he feels like doing when he feels like doing anyhow he feels like doing. If he likes, he can make your ministry close down. If he likes, he can blow up your ministry. You wake up in the morning, he could make it a good day. And you wake up in the morning, he could slap you with a bad news. So you, you can't be sure. It depends on how God wants it. It depends on whether God really wants it or not. A guy is going out with you, he breaks your heart, is the will of God. A sister is going out with you, she jilts you, is the will of God. Maybe God doesn't want me to marry her. There's a better girl God has prepared for me. She was just a distraction. So, believers don't really know where to draw the line. They don't really know where to bind, where to cast, where to take authority, where to resist, where to stop, because it may be God trying to tell me something. And because we do not have a revelation of the Bible, we are subject to life's experiences. We come from a background where we behave like Islam. Like all of us are Muslims. Because in Islam, everything happens by God. Everything. The train that was traveling from Kaduna to Abuja, that was hijacked. Muslims believe that's what God wants. Islam believes that nothing happens without the making of God. And a lot of Christians are Muslims with the label of Christianity. And a lot of pastors are Muslim clerics with the name of Christianity on their neck. Because if Muslims believe in a God who is responsible for all activities and a Christian believes in that same God, it means two of them are serving the same God. It's just that the label is the difference. But the characteristics and the mannerism is the same. So where is the difference? So that's why many people come to church, but they have a native doctor in the corner they are servicing. Because in case this God that I don't know where he's coming from, in case he disappoints, let there be something by the side to make up. Am I communicating at all? So it affects your faith in God. It erodes your confidence and it can pass with your, your assurance of God. And it makes your Christianity like a caricature. When the chips are down, you really don't trust God. Your name may be Emmanuel. Your name may be Christiana, but you don't trust Christ. Why? Because you don't know him. Yeah, you've been in church all your life. And all you have gathered in church is religion. You've been in church all your life. All you've gathered in church are cliches that cannot be substantiated with scripture. And if you don't know the scripture, you don't know God. Jesus said to the Jews, you do err because you know not the scriptures, not the power of God. You search the scriptures. For in them you think you have eternal life, but the scriptures don't give eternal life. They are the revelation of God. When you meet him, you meet life. He that has the son has life. I'm teaching good tonight. Funny enough, if you don't study the Bible very well, you can carelessly pick scriptures out of context. Here and there. And use them to substantiate your claim of sovereignty. 
<laughs> Whether it's good or bad, it's God. After all, in everything, you hit your leg, boom, give thanks is the will of God. You fall with a car accident, boom, thank you, Jesus. That is your will. You miscarry your baby, oh, thank you, Jesus. You gave me pregnancy to teach me the experience of a pregnant woman, not to have the baby. What a God. What a confused identity. What a confused character. No wonder atheists don't like God. No wonder young boys who have understood that a character of a father must be consistent don't like your God because your religious God is a bunch of confusion. 